Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters, and this is going to be an interesting one. First up is Thicket Thickened Water from Aquacare. This is water with the consistency of nectar. Next up is Bloom Honey Water, and this is their Vanilla Citrus version. And these are both pretty similar in a weird way. I mean, first of all, they're really small bottles, and they're like thick. You know, this is honey water. Honey is supposed to be thick. So this is a little bit thicker than normal water, and this is just, it's called thick water. It's thick it, thickened water. And so let's start off with the thick water. This was $4.55 from Amazon. The reason this water is thick is because it's supposed to help people with uh, dysphagia, help them swallow water. Dysphagia is uh, an illness where people have problems swallowing water and just processing water. So this is sort of for medical purposes, but uh, I'm going to be drinking it and doing a taste test of it. <laughs> so this is from St. Louis, and the ingredients in this include artisan mineral water, zinc think gum, potassium sorbate, sodium, acid sulfate, and some other stuff. And this is zero calories. It does have a little sodium, but zero calories. Okay, now the Bloom Honey Water. This is the interesting one. This was $2.49 from the store Giant Eagle. And I was going to do a review of this yesterday, but I kind of had to delay this review for one day. On the back of the bottle, it has the company's address. And it turns out this company is in Pittsburgh. It's, the company is on Freeport Road. And I, rec I recognize that road because I'm in Pittsburgh. The company is actually like four miles from me. They're really close. So that kind of caught my eye. And that, that was an interesting thing for the review. And then I checked out, you know, their Facebook page and I started researching the company a little bit. And on their Facebook page, they mentioned that they're going to be at the Pittsburgh Convention Center at a, uh, you know, health convention with other companies and they're going to be giving out free samples. And so I delayed the review because I actually went down to the convention center and I did a little interview with the, the company's CEO, one of their CEOs. So here's me talking to the CEO of this company. Bloom Honey Water is an all-natural water. Honey and waters have been combined since the first Olympiad. We've just chosen to make them a little playful on the palate. We have vanilla citrus, wild blueberry, and ginger zest. And honey is this beautiful, elegant, spikeless energy source. So that's the beauty of our honey water. So you're, you're a Pittsburgh company, right? We are. We're a Pittsburgh-based company. We're based in O'Hara, and we're making the waters in Latro, Pennsylvania. Cool. It's a, it's a women-owned company? It's women-owned. That's cool. My business partner and I are both from Pittsburgh. We went to high school and college together. What are some of the benefits of honey water? Well, the biggest benefit is honey it, as an energy source is very different than refined sugar. So our honey waters we look at from a hydration and energy perspective. Yeah. And the um, way our bodies process honey is very different than other sugars. So even though they're made up of glucose and fructose, the other components in honey allow our bodies to process it in a spikeless way. So we get this uptick of energy from the glucose, steady energy from the fructose, and those sugars that we don't use are actually um, stored as glycogen in our liver as an energy reserve, unlike refined sugars that are stored as fat. So it's better for you than just sugar water? It's better for you than, than just sugar water, yeah. Cool. And then we just chose to make them very playful on the palate with the flavor. So the vanilla citrus is vanilla, wild orange, grapefruit, and lemon. The blueberry is a blueberry-infused water with rosemary, black pepper, and coriander. And then the ginger zest is a ginger-infused water that we add our honeys to, which are all beef-friendly honeys. So we vet all of our beekeepers to make sure that they're ethical and humane beekeepers. And then we dose the ginger zest with fresh uh, organic ginger juice. Where's the water from? Is it just tap water? Municipal? It's water from Latrobe. Okay. So, um, but it goes through uh, reverse osmosis and deionization. Okay, cool. So that is Michelle. She's a founder and co-owner of Bloom Honey Water. And thank you, Michelle, for taking the time to talk to me. This was pretty neat. This isn't the first time I've talked to a water company owner. And uh, so thank you again. And I kind of wish I'd stayed and asked some more questions. But there was like a line forming behind me. This was this was actually one of the most busy booths at this convention. You know, there were dozens and dozens of booths set up. It's a huge convention center. 
lots of companies giving out free samples and stuff. This is one of the busiest booths though. Um, this was the only water company there and they were giving out free samples of all three of their flavors, vanilla, blueberry, and ginger. I tried all three. My personal favorite was this one, vanilla. This was a really popular booth. Like there was literally a line forming behind me. So I just kind of hurried up and, and finished the interview. This is a really good tasting water. I got to try it, you know, they, they had a cold version there, a chilled version of it, and uh, just little sample cups. And this is a neat concept. This is the first time I've had honey water, I think. Water with honey in it. And I'm going to give you some fun facts about honey before I drink this. Because honey, honey and bees are both really interesting. Like, there's so many animals. This is one of the most interesting animals of all. Okay, the first bee fact. In Africa, to protect their fields from elephants, some farmers will set up bee fences, which are just rows of um, beehives to scare away elephants from taking food from their fields. Next bee fact. To produce one pound of honey, honeybees must gather nectar from about two million flowers. That's crazy. One pound of nectar. Um, in the United States alone, there are over 200,000 beekeepers. That's way more popular of a job than I would have thought. But it makes sense, though, because bees are really important for farmers to make food. So that's, you know, it's more important of a job than most people would think. All right, the next bee fact. During the winter, to keep their hive warm, the bees will turn themselves into heaters. They literally just vibrate their bodies really fast. And vibrating their bodies produces heat, which heats up their hive. That's pretty cool. And next fun fact, bees can be trained to locate buried landmines. That's pretty awesome. And ounce per ounce, honeybee venom is actually more deadly than cobra venom. A bee sting has so little venom in it that it's not that deadly, but ounce per ounce, it's more deadly than, you know, cobra venom. That's crazy. Uh, so this water was $2.40 49 cents from Giant Eagle. This is mostly sold around Pittsburgh. And uh, let's just open these up and do the taste test. Here is the honey water. It smells like vanilla. That's really good. A little bit of like a barky taste to it, but it's really good. This has 70 calories in it, which is unfortunate, especially since it's such a small bottle. But it's really good tasting. Okay, here's the thicket water. There is like a, a big bubble in here which floats to the top really fast. But there are a bunch of small bubbles in there which like stay in place. So even though this big bubble floats around the side of it, it is still a very thick consistency water. Whoa. What does that smell like? That smells so familiar. I can't really put my finger on what it is. It's, it smells like a like a dirty kitchen kind of. Like that's really weird, but let's just see what it tastes like. That's thicker than I would have thought. Okay, I got a glass to help demonstrate how thick this is. You can see it like you know, it's like nectar, kind of. <laughs> you can see the bubbles staying in there and not moving around. <sighs> you know what it smells like? It smells like string cheese, kind of. <clears throat> I can't drink it. I can't drink this. It's like... It tastes like egg whites. Like it's really, this is not water. I don't think this is meant to be drank. I think you're supposed to mix it with other stuff or something. All right, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the thicket water. I don't want to, I don't want to drink any more of this. I'm gonna say that the winner is the Bloom Honey Water. This is a really good tasting water. It's unfortunate that it has calories Normally, I would prefer the water that does not have calories, but the taste on this water is so much better. It's like not even close. This is definitely the winner. 
congratulations. Bloom honey water. 